Ever wondered how a credit card reader works? It's not magic, but it's close. These compact devices, often no bigger than your palm, hold the power to connect your wallet to the wide world of commerce with just a swipe. At the heart of this interaction is the magnetic stripe on the back of your credit card. This thin band may look unassuming, but it's a technological marvel. It's like a mini vault of information, storing your card's unique identification data. When you swipe your card, this data is read by the credit card reader, enabling the transaction to take place. The magic, then, lies not in the swipe itself, but in the complex ballet of technology that happens almost instantaneously when the card and reader interact. It's a symphony of data transfer and digital communication happening in the blink of an eye. So it's not magic but a combination of clever design and technology. Let's dive deeper into the mystery of the magnetic stripe. This seemingly ordinary strip, often found on the back of your credit or debit card, holds a world of information. But how does it work? And how does the reader decode this information? Let's unfold this enigma. The magnetic stripe, also known as a mag stripe, is made from tiny magnetic particles of iron oxide. The stripe is divided into three tracks. The first and second tracks primarily contain your account details. The third track is often reserved for proprietary use by the card issuer. But how does this stripe store information? It's akin to a compact version of a cassette tape. The stripe carries a magnetic field, and the changes in this field represent binary code, which is the language of computers. This binary code corresponds to the data stored on your card, such as your account number, expiry date, and more. Now let's move to the reader. What happens when you swipe your card? The reader, also known as a card reader or point-of-sale terminal, is equipped with a magnetic head, a small component that reads the magnetic stripe. As you swipe your card, the reader deciphers the changes in the magnetic field of the stripe, converting this information into binary code. It's like a symphony, with the card and reader performing a complex dance of information exchange. Once the reader has this binary code, it's time to interpret it. The reader uses its built-in software to translate the binary code into human-readable information. This decoded information is then used to authenticate the transaction, ensuring that the card details match the records of the card issuer. This entire process, from swipe to authentication, occurs in a matter of seconds, making it possible for you to purchase your morning coffee or fill up your gas tank with a simple swipe of your card. So, the reader is like a translator decoding the language of the magnetic stripe. It's a complex process yet it happens in the blink of an eye, making our daily transactions smooth and hassle-free. But what happens after the swipe? How does your money get from your account to the merchants? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of digital transactions. After the card's magnetic stripe, or chip, is read by the reader, the real magic begins. The reader sends the card information to the merchant's bank, also known as the acquiring bank. It's the first stop in a journey that takes mere seconds. This acquiring bank then sends a request to the card issuer, which is typically your bank. They're asking, in essence, hey, does this person have enough funds to cover this purchase? This is a crucial point in the transaction. It's where the decision to approve or decline your purchase is made. Now your bank gets to work. They check your account balance and any fraud alerts that might be in place. If everything checks out, they send back a message saying, yes, this transaction is good to go. If not, they send a different message, one that nobody likes to see, transaction declined. But let's assume everything's on the up and up. Your bank sends the approval back to the acquiring bank which then sends it to the merchant's card reader. And voila, the transaction is approved. You get your goods, the merchant gets their money, and everyone's happy. Now you might be wondering, how does the money actually get to the merchant? Well, that's where the settlement process comes in. At the end of the business day, the merchant sends all their approved transactions to their bank. The bank then sends these transactions to the card issuer, who transfers the money to the merchant's account. It's a bit like settling up the tab at the end of a night out. And that, in a nutshell, is what happens after the swipe. It's a complex dance of digital communication, all happening in the blink of an eye. So, after the swipe, a whole lot of digital conversation happens, leading to your purchase. Now, you might be wondering, what about security? How does the credit card reader keep your information safe? Well, let's dive into that. When you swipe your card, it's not just the numbers on the card that are being read. There's a whole bundle of security measures in place. Chief among them are encryption and tokenization. Think of encryption as a secret code, 
scrambling your card information into a language only the authorized system can understand. Now, tokenization takes it a step further. It replaces your sensitive card information with a unique set of symbols or tokens. These tokens are useless if they fall into the wrong hands, as they can't be traced back to your original card details. These two security measures work hand in hand ensuring your information remains secure during and after the transaction. They are your invisible guardians protecting your data from prying eyes. So, while the credit card reader may seem simple, it's a secure and sophisticated piece of technology. So now you know the secrets behind the seemingly simple swipe. This journey has taken us from the surface of a credit card to the depths of its magnetic stripe, unpacking the mystery behind this everyday piece of tech. We've discovered how the reader interprets the information stored on the stripe, transforming it into a language that computers can understand, and enabling transactions to occur at lightning speed. We've also shed light on the process that occurs after the swipe, where our data zips through networks and databases, validating our purchase and ensuring our bank accounts are updated accurately. And let's not forget the robust security measures in place, safeguarding our personal information and protecting us from potential fraudsters. This is the world of credit card readers, an intricate blend of technology and security making our day-to-day -day transactions a breeze. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of credit card readers. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into everyday tech.